Hello all, welcome to my channel on Android. Today I want to demonstrate you the concept of how to load image using a camera into our Android application and how to display the same. Let's start with developing an application. Here you can select the empty project. You can click on the next. Then you can define the name of your application. Here I am giving the name of the application is Capture Image Demo. You can select the platform over here. I am selecting the platform that is Kotlin. Then you can click on the finish. Once your uh, all the Gradle build is running, your loading project is done, you can start the coding. Now I want to define my design first. Here I want to take the two things. The first thing is I want a one button uh, which load my camera and the second one uh, I want the image view in which I want to load the image view. So let's start developing a project. First of all, I don't want this hello world over here. So you can just select and click on delete. Then here you can search for the image view. You can just drag and drop the image view over here in the center you can put and then you can just select the image that you want in the background. I just, I'm just selecting the launcher background image. You can select the same and you can click on the info constraint. From design palette here, you can define the width and height of the image. Suppose I am mentioning here 300 dp is the width and 300 dp is the height. <clears throat> Once it is done, you can take one button over here to launch the camera application. So I am just uh, putting here one button. You can uh, input the constraint and you can give the name of the button. Here my name of the button is capture image. So whenever you click over here, it uh, I want to do that, uh, it load the camera and whenever you click that image, that particular image should be loaded over here in this image view. Here you can define the uh, style of the button also. I'm just giving the style of the button that is style and that style is button. Uh, I want that uh, that button should be colored button you can uh, select the app compact dot button dot image dot widget dot button color so uh, this is the appearance style uh, this is the text appearance style if you want to change this you can also use a uh, one more style over here that is uh, widget dot app compact dot button color whenever you take this uh, your button look, uh, will look like this and if you don't want this you can live as it is now whenever user click on this button I want to capture the image and I want to load the same into this image view let's start with the coding here in main activity first of all we need to check for the permission whenever you want to access the camera you need a permission for the camera so I will just check is a uh, user has granted the permission for the camera so I will check for activity compact dot check for the self permission is user has granted the permission so I'm just selecting manifest dot permission dot camera not equal to package manager dot permission granted it means the user has not granted the permission then please request for the permission so you can just write activity compact dot request for the permission there are basically three parameters for this the first one is in which activity you want the second parameter is the array of the permission you can pass over here which are the permissions that you want from the user manifest dot permission dot you can pass the camera and if camera permission is granted by the user then what you want to do so you can just pass the request code over here if this permission is already there then what you want to do so i am just doing what see uh, i am making my button enabled is equal to false it means my it means my button will be disabled and if the user granted the permission then i will make the button enabled is equal to true now what you want to do if the user is granted the permission so here you can on write the code on on permission on request permission result if the request code is equal to equal to the 111 that is provided by the user and the grant result of the zero 
is equal equal package manager dot permission granted it means that uh, if this is uh, done by the user then we will make the button dot is enabled is equal to true it means if the user grant the permission then i will make the enable otherwise it will be disable let's just check the my this code is working properly or not whenever you uh, execute this application it will be loaded to your emulator once your application is loaded over here you can check that see the capture image button is disabled but uh, this my application is not asking me for the permission why because i had not make the entry of the permission over here in manifest file so you need to in uh, add here permission that is uh, we are using the permission that uses the permission camera once you add this permission then and then my this application will asking me for the permission see it is asking me for the permission if i make click on deny it will not enable this button but if i click over here and if i click on application and if i uh, click on the allow then my button will be enabled now whenever user click on this capture image button I want to load my camera application now what to do simple whenever user click on this button what you want to do here you can write into the code so if user button dot set on click listener here in this function you can just write what you want to do so I'm just writing here variable I is equal to intent here you can pass the uh, reference of the camera activity so uh, here you just need to call media store class media store dot action underscore image capture it will start your activity i am just uh, uh, starting the activity for result i am uh, calling this intent with some code why because if user passes uh, click oh, click on the camera and uh, what user is interacting with the camera if you want to perform like this then you can write, make the code on that particular code so i'm just calling my application and just to see whenever you click on the capture image it will load my camera application once you once you click over here in image right whenever you click over here in image i want that this image this image must be loaded over here but right now what happened this image is not loaded into this image view it means i called successfully my camera application but i am not able to access that particular image so if you want to access this image you need to override one function and that function name is on activity result what you want whenever user click on application here you can just write if request a code is equal equal 101 it means what this request code start activity for result you are clicking on action image capture and whatever the image if the request code is 101 then what steps you want to take here you can write right now, now i am just declaring my variable picture is equal to here data a data will return you what whenever user click on any image and that image will be written over here in this data dot get parsable extra function and the key is data so let me call data dot get parsable extra is the function it will return n value of the bitmap and here you can pass the data whenever user written the data uh, might be a chance it can be a null so for null have to check you can just add here question mark now i want to add the same picture to my image view so you can just write here image view dot set image bitmap and you can set your picture right and you can just check is my application is running fine or not whenever you do this see what happened it will first check for the permission permission is already granted by me so this button is enabled right now whenever you click over here it will open the camera application so let me just click on the capture image it will load the camera application i'm just uh, capturing my image whenever you capture any image you can click on this plus and you can check this image is loaded over here it means what you did it with all these things this image 
you are directly getting the data from the camera right so this image will not be stored in dcim folder of your camera application this way application is perfectly working with the original device also but if you want this image directly you want to store in some, uh, any uh, firebase or any database so uh, here you have a path of the image you have a data you can directly store this image into uh, the folder in any storage wherever you want so this is the way you can capture the image you can store the image right now this is from that's it from my side thank you for listening me thank you all